So hey everyone and welcome back to my video series. This is Shraddha and you are watching Unit Chat BBR. So as today is another BBR day and as we all know what it is today. Today is the 75th Independence Day of our great nation India. And so as this is a really very special day and as we have named our this year as the Amrit Mahotsav of the 75th Independence Day of India, I am also going to give a few important points about our India. And first of all, I am glad to tell that I am finally back on my these YouTube videos as I took a small YouTube break because of my exams and a lot of studies so I was literally not able to shoot up videos but now luckily I am all done with it and actually I have prepared a lot of book reviews for all of you and I have a lot of those life-changing books again coming back to all of you so yeah let's get started and there's one more important key point here that at this is the 75th Independence Day and also by chance we have already completed plus 75 videos on our YouTube journey till now. So I'm just really happy as there's a lot of special things about our India and our videos at this moment. And so in this video, we are going to get about some important key points of what happened in India, some of those great achievements and just let's celebrate this Independence Day in the very best way. So yeah, quickly, let's get ahead. 75th Independence Day is our wish. So let's start the video in a swish. Okay, so yeah, quickly let's get ahead because I have a few of the short key points that we should keep in our mind and also get to know that what has happened in our India and what are those great discoveries that only India has made in these 75 years. Okay, so now we all know that just a few key points like when this all started, independence and whatever has happened. So we got freedom in 1947 CE, that is all we know and we have established the constitutional framework in 1950. Now let's go to some more deeper that the first Prime Minister of India was of course Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru and he has made a lot of reforms for us which has really helped us a lot. Now let's go to the current situation that you know what has changed, what has happened, the discoveries that happened in this whole 75 years. So there's a very important thing that I got or I received the news as that a team of Indian astronomers they have actually discovered uh, an extremely large and a super cluster of galaxies as you can see here in the picture. This is one of the most largest known structures in the uh, neighboring universes and it is just as big as 20 million billions of suns. It is a path breaking discovery which our Indian astronomers have made and they have named it as Saraswati. It was a really great discovery that has happened. Next, we go for one more of the space things which is from ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. They have demonstrated their capability of holding complex missions because they have actually successfully launched a record of 104 satellites in just one single rocket which is really very big achievement for India because this is the highest number of satellites ever launched in a single rocket by any country who has not watched the movie Mission Mangal yes that Mangalyaan so the Mangalyaan made India the first ever nation to send a satellite to the orbit of the Mars in the very first attempt. A very big achievement for all of us. Next, we all know that India is one of those largest democracy with a population of around 1.3 billion. It has a unique land structure of vibrant colors. It has breathtaking landscapes and a very rich history. Because if we just ever think that now I have to explore some exotic places and some you know breathtaking uh, monuments and all of that, you can actually find a lot of them in our India itself. So if you're going to ever make a mission that yeah, I have to see and you know, explore the whole India, I'm afraid that it won't be actually possible because it has so many different types of things that our India itself is a very big mystery for all of us because there are so many mysteries uh, related to various temples and you know a lot of those archaeologists are of course behind a lot of treasures it is a land which is universal in itself okay so we also know that the world's tallest statue comes from India yes the statue of the unity 
Now there is a very important thing that I got that Albert Einstein, the greatest scientist, had actually said about uh, India and our Indians. He said that we owe a lot to the ancient Indians. They taught us how to count, because without which most of the modern scientific discoveries would not have been possible. As we all know that the numbers, the zero, the value of pi, everything originated from our India and our Indian history. We all know about the great scientist and the great mathematician Aryabhatta and who doesn't know about it. So that this way many scientists and great philosophers have actually said that they actually uh, follow the Bhagavad Gita from India because it has so much of knowledge inside it that we can find a lot of science, physics and mathematics inside it and the truths about our universe and our whole life that scientists are right now also researching on by taking the Bhagavad Gita as their health book. Next. Now let's go for some of those characters of nature and all. We all know there's so much of nature filled in India. Ayurveda existed and it came from India. Yoga came from India that now the whole world is starting to follow. Meditation tricks and everything also came from India. And now we have also got that India is famous for being the home to the most number of the one Pond Rinhos with the Assam's Kaziranga National Park, which serves a major habitat of it. So the one horned Rinhos are the ones that originally come actually from India, and we can find a lot of them just in the Assam's Kaziranga National Park. What to tell about the Indians philosophy? India philosophy is like world famous. The most important thing we all follow is Atiti Devo Bhava, which practically means the guest is equivalent to the gods. So we treat everybody, also our guests as our god. We respect the elders and also everybody out there. That's why India is actually having a lot of nice respect throughout the world because we are teaching them to make good qualities in ourselves. Now, we all know that India is that's why very much famous for its hospitality worldwide. So as this is our 75th Independence Day, we all know that whatever is going on in our country right now, we have a really awesome uh, campaign going on in our country which is Har Ghar Tiranga campaign and I just really hope that all of you also take part in it because it is a really very proud thing for all of us to get the 75th Independence Day and by this campaign and all of these motivation going on we also get that we have to make our India more developed in actually every field maybe it's of art maybe it's of AI or maybe it's of even computer science or agriculture we have to actually make it so high that we'll be really a very successful nation in the future years and we'll be actually one of the most powerful countries by 2050. So yeah, we have to take this in our whole mind and move towards our, this mission. So there's a lot of things to do now as it is the Independence Day. We have a lot of patriotic songs going on everywhere in everyone's uh, ears and we all just really feel that uh, that urge uh, to be independent and we also actually have to understand the independence which we have got and how to use it properly and so yeah this was my whole message and yes I just really wish you all a very happy independence day because it's a very special day for all of us and I just really hope you also uh, just celebrate it and just do something more better in your life to make our India feel proud about you to make or do something for our India and contribute just a bit at least a bit for our India's success and so yeah happy watching happy learning please don't forget to subscribe my channel stay tuned from now on on every Sundays at sharp 5 p.m. IST KST and GMD time bones and so yeah happy watching happy learning and yeah, greetings